Mike DiPolito, and if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. He was a successful working entrepreneur who was a 38-year-old married man when he met a young woman in Florida that he fell in love with in 2008, New York City native 25-year-old Dahlia Mohammed. Although Dahlia was a working real estate agent, she was also working as a professional escort, which is how she met Mike. Mike said he called her into his office for her services one day. She came through, and after that one time, he wanted her all to himself, so they began dating. Smitten with the new apple of his eye, Mike didn't want to spend another day without his Dahlia, so he filed for divorce from his wife, and the divorce was finalized as of January 28, 2009. Five days later, he married his young love, Dahlia, and moved her into a Boynton Beach townhouse with him. To go back a few years, Mike was arrested in 2002 in Broward County and charged of organized fraud, unlicensed telemarketing, and grand theft for running a foreign currency investment scam. He made $155,000 U.S. dollars from investors and spent almost all of the money on hotels, cars, and phone sticks. He pled guilty and was sentenced to two years in state prison with 28 years of probation and was ordered to pay restitution to his victims. But Mike couldn't seem to shake the law as he had a run-in with them a couple more times, including a time where he was leaving dinner with his beloved wife, Dahlia, and got pulled over by police seemingly for no reason. When he got pulled over, police did a search of his vehicle and found a bag of cocaine in a cigarette pack. He vehemently denied it being his. After a while, the officers let him go in good faith. Then, police received an anonymous tip that Mike was selling drugs. So they investigated him, but found nothing. At this point, Mike becomes so paranoid about losing all he's worked for, he transferred his house title over to Dahlia's name by the end of July 2009 in the event he would get arrested. Little did Mike know, his own wife, Dahlia, was the one who was planting these drugs and calls on her own husband, knowing that he was on probation. Why? Well, she simply wanted to get rid of him to get his money and the house. It got to a point where she tried to poison him by putting antifreeze into his Starbucks drink, which had him sick for days, but he was able to overcome that. Dahlia decided it was time to go harder. So over the course of a few weeks, she set out a plot to hire someone to kill her husband. Dahlia reached out to an ex-boyfriend of hers, Mohammed Shihade, to assist her in hiring someone to kill Mike. Mohammed felt like he needed to tell police about the plot, so that's exactly what he did. At first, police at the Boynton Beach Police Department were skeptical, but they decided they'd take a look into the allegations and investigate. It just so happens that the show Cops was filming at that department the same week Mohammed told them about this murder for hire plot. So they agreed to step in and film everything involved in the case. They set up hidden cameras in Mohammed's car and told him to set up a meeting with Dahlia, so he did. He and Dahlia met up at a gas station parking lot on July 30th, 2009, where he told her, he knew someone who could do the job and she would be meeting him two days later to explain the details of what she wanted to take place. This is when the BBPD had Officer Whitey Jean go undercover as a hitman. Before the meeting that took place on August 1st, 2009, the show cops set up hidden cameras in an unmarked red convertible car for Officer Jean. During their meeting, Officer Jean asked Dahlia, quote, are you sure you want to kill him, end quote. Dahlia enthusiastically replied, quote, there's no changing. I'm determined already. I'm positive. I'm like 5,000% sure, end quote. She established the date of the hit to be on August 5th, 2009 to give herself time to establish an alibi and paid Officer Jean 7,000 U.S. dollars up front with the promise of another 3,000 U.S. dollars after the job was done. Of course, not knowing that Jean is an officer and this is all a setup against her to begin with. August 5th came. Dahlia went to the gym at 6 a.m. While she was going, police set up a staged fake murder scene at her home. Of course, at this time, Mike was aware that his beloved wife was trying to kill him. When Dahlia got back from the gym, she saw the scene outside of her home and put on the theatrics of pretending to be a devastated widow. Sergeant Paul Sheridan consoled her and brought her into the police department, telling her he needed her to try and identify who she thinks the suspect could have been. Once in the station, police brought out Officer Jean in cuffs, still playing the part of the suspect, and they both denied knowing each other. To which shortly after, her husband Mike came into the doorway and told her he knew everything about her plot to have him killed. Dahlia begged and pleaded with Mike to come back to her because she hadn't done anything to him, but it fell on deaf ears as he told her she was now on her own. 
Shortly after, Dahlia was arrested and charged in the solicitation of first-degree murder. While in custody, she made calls to her husband and criticized him for not getting her a lawyer. She was later released on bond while awaiting her trial that didn't start until early 2011. Dahlia claimed she knew she was being recorded and went along with it because Mike was the fame-hungry one between the two of them and accused him of telling her to behave as though she wanted to get him killed so they'd make it on TV, specifically the show Cops. The jury wasn't going for said story, so they found her guilty and she was sentenced to 20 years behind bars. However, an appeals court in 2014 found that there was an improperly selected jury, which led to a retrial in 2016. The retrial ended in a hung jury, despite the overwhelming amount of evidence. So, Dahlia was released on house arrest and gave birth to her son before her final trial in 2017. On July 21, 2017, Judge Glenn Kenny sentenced Dahlia to 16 years in prison. She filed for another appeal in 2019, which was denied. With no amount of appeals left to file, Dahlia will spend the rest of her prison time at the Lowell Correctional Institution in Ocala, Florida until 2032. Now, in a twisted turn of events, on October 24, 2021, Mohammed Shihade was 40 years old when he was found dead in his Sabring apartment by his brother. His family members hadn't been able to reach him for a couple of days, so the brother went to go check on him and found him dead. A cause of death was never reported and the results of the autopsy has been pending since forever because no official report has ever been released to confirm his cause of death. It has been rumored, though, that based on his history with drugs, he might have had an overdose. As for Mike DiPolito, it's been reported he moved on into a new relationship with a woman named Gloria, and it's said that they're engaged to be married as of 2017, but I'm not sure if the couple is still together as of today since there isn't really any updates on them too. But Mike is doing well, and he is currently the owner of his own real estate agency called MD United Realty Group.